Premiere Pro for the Mac is loaded with so many great, amazing features. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the more advanced features and answer some questions that I got in the comments. First, we're going to go over here to our volume section. This is where you can obviously adjust the volume, master volume of your DJ. But down here is Ableton Link. I made a lot of specific videos about Ableton Link, but you could connect your iPad and your Mac, your phone and your Mac. However creative you want to get, you could connect different DJ apps, uh, beat making apps and stuff like that and have it all in sync with by using Ableton Link. It's a really cool feature that I think is overlooked. Next is over here in recording. You could record audio, obviously, but you could also record audio and video. So DJ Pro has an amazing video mixing mode. So you could do mixes not only based on the audio of the tracks, but on the music videos, do transitions with the music video. Another thing that involves the recording is if we go over here to the really cool feature, which is our looper and our sampler. So this is our looper here. We could select different loop packs. You could get more, you could download them. And then now we could create loops, which are cool. You could use it for scratching. You could use it for mixing. It's really easy to use and you can make some really cool beats. But what a lot of people don't know is you could actually layer these up. So you could record a drum set. I'm just going to do this real quick. So right now I'm recording these drums. Now I'm going to stop the recording. So the recording has stopped. Now I'm going to take this recording that I just did, load it onto this deck. So now we have the drums on this deck. And then what we can do is with that, with that looper, we could add some samples to it. DJ. Now stop the recording. Now we can load it up again over here. And then now we're going to have our drums and our sample. Now this was a really quick example and it was not very good, but if you take the time, you could almost record your own tracks within the DJ Pro software by layering up these drum beats, layering up vocals. Maybe you could do the vocals yourself or you could use narrow mix to use vocals from other songs and you could keep going and layer this up using the record button. Next is going to be over here. We're going to press this expansion. We could get rid of our looper and sampler expansion. So we have this expansion out and then you could press the button here to the left to get to our cue points. This is where we are going to see our cue points. Cue points are very important when you're organizing your tracks and creating your playlist. Now, you could take these cue points a step farther. Once you make a cue point, it's just going to say the time, and then it is going to give you a random color. There's about eight colors you could choose from. And the coolest thing is these colors can be represented on your controller if you have a controller that has RGB capabilities such as the Reloop Buddy and most mid to upper level controllers. So to change the color of these cue points, what you're going to do is press this pencil button here and then a hidden drop down menu comes up. And then we could either go to the drop down menu or we could delete our cue point. We could go to a drop down menu and we can change the name. I would say if you're doing cue points, at least do where you're going to start and where you're going to stop your mixes. So once you load up the track, you can know what you're doing. So I'm going to name this one start. And then you could use a color code that makes sense to you. For me, start makes sense in the green or that might be yellow on the color vine, but whatever. And then we're going to do the second one is going to be end. And then end is going to be in red. So now whenever you load up this track, you will see the color coded cue points represented on these lines up here on the tracks waveforms uh, to tell you how far into the track you are. You'll see that up there, but you will also see it pop out up on your controller and you could just press the button on your controller. And then you know that green means start, red means stop or whatever makes sense for you. Just don't forget to customize these colors and name them something that's going to help you while you're DJing because cue points are very important. Now with Neuromix, if we take out, if we open up our Neuromix expansion pack, you obviously have drums, harmonics, and vocals. Here you could control your Neuromix and really take out the vocals, take out the instrumentals, and then you could also take out the harmonics. We also have this slider up here that is either all the way instrumentals or all the way vocals, which is really easy to use. 
But if you just want to customize it more, you could do a four band narrow mix. So you got drums, bass, harmonics, and vocals. I would re recommend experimenting with the tracks that you play a lot and then see what it's like taking out these specific elements. So, j so don't forget to really take a deep dive into narrow mix. Next is video mode. DJ Pro has one of the most advanced video mode features and you can DJ with music videos and you could DJ with the visualizer. If you want to learn more about the video mix feature in this amazing software, check out this video over here. Thank you.